Alright, so we're going to use some shoulder straps to create some leg loops so that I can actually be supported from the exoskeleton. So when we lock the limbs, I can actually sit and the legs will hold me up. So we're going to just have to modify these a little bit. So we'll start by adding a quick release belt clip. There we go. So I'll go around my leg and then this will attach to either the hip joint or the uh, upper portion of the leg of the exoskeleton. Alright, so we've got the shoulder joint here, and then this is actually, I guess, the bicep part of the arm, and we're just going to weld that in place. It'll still be modular, so we have to pin it here, but let's get welding. So right now I'm working on the arm mount to attach my arm to the exoskeleton's arm. And we actually found that a child's shin brace actually fits perfectly on my forearm. So what I'm doing right now is making a small piece of steel that will actually bolt to this and then we're going to weld another one of these socket adapters on here to attach to the arm. So let's do that. Alright, so I got the metal plate attached to the shin guard now. Now I just need to weld one of these guys right on top like that. Hey guys, so we wanted to make that video a bit longer and we have all the footage to do so, we just don't have time to edit it together right now because we're crazy busy preparing for the expo. We're leaving today, uh, the expo is tomorrow, May 1st at uh, the Sheraton Center in Toronto. If you're in the area, come see me, we're going to pick up a DeLorean with the exoskeleton. Anyway, stay tuned, as soon as we get back we'll get the rest of the footage edited and you'll be able to see the exo in all its glory. That being said, we're also going to try and live stream the GTA Expo. We just don't know if we'll be able to. It depends on the internet connection there. But don't worry, if you can't make it, we're also going to film it, and we'll be posting that next week as well. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next update.